It's pretty busy at Norlandy Salon in Elizabeth, but not busy enough, says owner Norlandy Aguirre, to pay hundreds of dollars for a new business license. No, 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 it's too much money for it. <laughs> I don't want it. Beauty salons and barber shops across Elizabeth got letters back in January telling them about a new city ordinance that requires them to pay $350 a year for a license to operate. It's another $350 a year, they say, if they offer nail services like manicures and pedicures. And if they want to stay open past 8.30 at night, well, that's another $100. It's outrageous that they go from nothing and out of the blue just like this big bill. It's really, really unfair to us and, you know, small businesses. You know, we are trying to grow and be part of the community. Diana Maldonado, who owns another shop in town, says she was told by the mayor of Elizabeth in March that they had until June to pay up. This week, owners started getting tickets for not paying. Tuesday night, they took their fight to the city council meeting, explaining that most of these small business owners don't bring enough in to pay such high fees, especially since they already pay for state licenses. This is, you know, it's a lot of money. Yeah. It's, a lot, it's a lot of nails and a lot of hairs you have to do for you to come up with that, with that amount of money. During the meeting, a city licensing officer agreed to meet with the owners to discuss and explain the fees. The council president also promised if the high fees remain a hardship, they will consider changing the ordinance that requires them. In Elizabeth, Marcy Rubin, News 12, New Jersey.